Hello, my beautiful Libras. My name is Jennifer from jenniferwalkerzen.com, here to bring you a monthly forecast for July 2019. This is going to be for singles, couples, or anyone in between, or anyone who needs love messages. Um, guys, also remember these are general love messages. They're not going to resonate with everyone, so check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign. And of course, if you'd like a personal reading, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. So here's how we're going to do this. We're going to break this down week to week to week, and then I'm going to do the overall, and then I'm going to get advice from the romance angels. Please stick with me till the end so you can see the bigger picture of what's going on here. Thank you so much. All right, let's jump right in. So what's going on in my Libra's romantic love life for the 10th to the 14th, please? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. And apparently one wanted to come out already, so we'll take that. So the Justice card shows me, this is actually your card, Libra, some kind of balanced decision, some kind of truth here. And the truth is pertaining to the Prince of Swords or the Knights of Swords here, which is actually what this card is, is the Prince, but actually it's the Knight. Um, so it's some kind of movement, fast moving energy here, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius kind of energy, uh, something to do with cutting something out and making a, a swift decision here. Uh, to end some kind of burden that's on your mind or someone else's with the Ten of Wands energy. Okay, the Ten of Wands, it actually shows this person is like, they're like, they're feeling like the whole weight of everything is on them. They're like toppled over here. Um, so let's kind of see what's going on. We'll get more information here. Can you tell me? Okay, Spirit. <laughs> so it's more or less about the fact, Spirit wanted me to take it, so I did. Okay. It's more or less about the fact that um, the issue is surrounding, is it safe for you to love? Open your heart to give and receive. So that seems to be the issue here this week, okay? The 10th to the 14th. So let's see what's going on for the 15th to the 21st here. What's going on for my Libras from the 15th to the 21st of July, please? Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see for the romantic love life. Thank you. So it looks like um, this week the energy is someone feels like their hands are tied here in the situation. Uh, almost looks like these two are going around in circles here, okay, and feel like they're kind of trapped. The energy is like very uh, so much in in the mind, it's a lot of in the mind kind of energy um, pertaining to three of pentacles, okay. So someone feels like they're trapped. Feels like their hands are tied. Maybe there's more than one person here, or maybe there's some kind of situation and, and it involves work here or working together here with the Three of Pentacles energy. And there's a contemplation with the Queen of Pentacles. Maybe you're dealing with a, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, a contemplation of what do I want to do here? How do I want to go forward? Do I want to have a long term situation or not? You know, it's like a contemplation, uh, contemplative energy here. Okay, so. Let's kind of see what's going on here. And it could be a work-related thing here because of the fact the Queen of Pentacles is there with the Three of Pentacles. All right. Can I see what's going on here with my Libra's romantic love life for the week of the 15th to the 21st, please? Show me card I need to see. Show me card I need to see. So it's more or less um, getting to know a situation or revealing something. Something needs to be revealed here in the situation. So obviously there's a contemplative energy going on here. Someone needs to reveal something with the situation. Okay. So what's going on? We're going to get the overall, so don't worry at the end. What's going on with my uh, Libra's romantic love life for the 21st to the 31st, please, of, of July? Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see for the romantic love life. Thank you. So it looks like you're going to be victorious. You're going to take charge of the situation with the chariot card here. Um, yeah, there's the emperor. So again, we're dealing with a work card here. Uh, it looks like you could be dealing with an Aries or you're trying to take charge of this. You're going to be victorious. Um, this could definitely be something surrounding work or an authority figure or a fatherly figure with the Emperor card here. And uh, it's definitely going to happen quickly with the Eight of Wands energy, some kind of fast moving energy. Someone's going to communicate something to you or you're going to communicate to some, something to someone else. You're going to do it very quickly. There's going to be some kind of movement here. But this definitely shows me there's going to be a victory here with this situation. So can you give me a little bit more information on what's going on in my Libra's romantic love life from the 21st to the 31st, please? Show me the cards that you see. Thank you, Spirit. Ooh. It's something surrounding a reconciliation of a situation. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So it looks like we come in the first week of saying, okay, there's some kind of decision. There's a burden on someone's mind. Uh, something's happening quickly. A lot of quick energy here. 
okay? There's a truth in a decision. Is this really safe for you to love? Then you come into the second week and it's like something is being revealed about someone feeling like their hands are tied here and maybe there's another option here with the Three of Pentacles energy or something surrounding work here with the Three of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles of contemplation of what should I do here about this. Um, so it looks like coming into the final week here, there's some kind of healing, some kind of reconciliation surrounding the situation. Maybe there's reconciliation pertaining to the past here. Someone takes control of this and makes this victorious. And it's going to come in fast. It's going to work fast. It's going to it's going to all resolve itself very quickly here with this Eight of Wands energy. All right, now I'm going to see what's going to go on with the overall here. Something to do with putting the work in. Maybe you go to school with this person. Maybe you work with this person. Yeah, someone wants to take charge of this. Okay. Can you tell me what's going on with the overall uh, current romantic love life for my Libras for, for July 2019? What's their blockages for this time period? What's their strength for this time period? Who's coming towards, um, who's coming, who is something from their past that affected their current love state? Why can't I talk today? And who's coming towards them romantically that they would be interested in romantically for this time period? And what's going to be the overall outcome for my Libras for this time period? Thank you so much for your help and tell me when to stop. Thank you. Okay, so King of Cups energy. So currently, you're trying to make a wise choice when it comes to love. Maybe you're dealing with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces here. Uh, maybe you feel like the person that you're dealing with is a wise choice when it comes to love. Obviously, the King energy is a leader. They, they're a very committal kind of energy. It's a serious energy. And it looks like the blockage here is ending some kind of pain, coming out of being hurt here with the Ten of Pentacles energy. Excuse me, the Ten of Swords energy. I cannot talk today, Libra. I'm sorry. The Ten of Swords energy. So the blockage is someone's still getting over something. Someone's still getting over being hurt. Would that be you or the other person here? Something hasn't completed yet. So your strength here is not to have bondage, addiction, depression, procrastination here. Okay. Your strength is not to, to deal with these things. Or if you're dealing with a Capricorn, this would be your strength. Okay. Because the devil does represent the Capricorn energy. So don't be, uh, don't procrastinate on this situation. Don't feel depressed about this situation, okay, when it comes to your romantic love life. So it looks like in the past, maybe you were dealing with somebody from work or school, apprenticeship here with the Eight of Pentacles energy. Maybe someone decided to put the work in here. Or maybe someone felt like this is a bit repetitive. So who's coming towards you? Wow, Libra, you got the magician card. The ideal partner, the ideal situation. Someone who has all the tools that you need. Jesus, let's see what's going on. It looks like the sun card is the outcome here. Happiness. So as I said, the final week looks like something to do with happiness. Something is revealed about maybe someone not being honest about something, seven of swords, or gaining a new perspective about taking control of something with the emperor energy. So this, this sun can actually represent either happiness. It can also represent revealing something. Revealing something about the seven of swords. Maybe someone not being completely honest about something. Maybe uh, someone being deceptive about something. And it looks like the emperor energy is saying, I'm going to take control of this. I'm going to take control of this situation. And the sun card does represent something happy here. There's the chariot card. So this emperor comes in and it, whether that you or the other person, whether you're dealing with an Aries or whether it's just you taking control of this situation, you're going to be victorious. And it's obviously going to reveal something maybe that someone's not being honest or something about deception here with the seven of swords energy or um, a new perspective with the seven of swords energy pertaining to this whole emperor energy maybe this is somebody from your job your workplace but whatever the deal is the sun card shows me there's going to be happiness here and the chariot shows me they're going to take charge and you're going to be victorious so let me get some advice for you can i have some advice for my libras for the romantic love life for july 2019 show me the card i need to see show me the card i need to see okay so it's something to do with loving yourself first and let me see the next card here um pertaining to romantic feelings so your feelings are real and worth exploring and they're seeing to love yourself enough to to realize that and i see that here obviously your strength is not to feel depressed about this, not to procrastinate about the situation, that the person that's coming towards you has all the tools that you need with the magician card. 
And obviously you will take charge of this with the emperor energy and the chariot energy is showing that you're, you're going to be victorious here and you're going to be happy here with the sun card. So that's really, really good. And spirit is saying to love yourself enough um, to, to make the choice because you know that there's romantic feelings here. Okay, Libra. All right, my darlings. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this, please like and subscribe. And of course, if you'd like a personal reading, if you want me to draw upon what exactly is going on here with this situation by drawing upon your own personal energies, you can go to my website, jenniferwalkerson.com or check out the description box below. I love you guys so much. And also watch out for the extra returns, um, weeklies, and what does this person secretly want you to know? You can all check that out in my playlist. I love you guys so much. Have a great month, okay?